All right, let's get back into our alien mysteries here. Um, let's continue into scene four of case 101, the Fuller dogfight. We are going to the department store. All right. Excuse me, can I ask your opinion? Which lipstick shade do you think works best? The Susie here depends on who it's working for. Honestly, with your hair color and pic features, pinks won't work. Something bolder. Try that red one. Yes, that's perfect. Your boyfriend's gonna owe me. Like it? I love it. And you mean my husband? Should have guessed. I'm a newlywed myself. I need to tie. I need a tie for my husband. Come help me find one. Cool. I would never interact with a stranger in a store myself, but cool. It's just unfathomable situation for me personally, but yes. But I mean, it's really cool if you get help, though. Like, um, I can't see. Oh, there. Where's the uh, oh there? Cool. I think the intro to the game was it showed the main menu in the sense that like that alien like picture thing. So actually, I don't think we missed any intro cutscene, which is good. I do appreciate the very pink, all the pinks. What a lovely ermine fur cape. Susie mentioned that she liked it. Okay. How <laughs> is that relevant to me? This Susie Miller seems to be hanging around Mimi Hynek a lot. She likes this Russian fur cape. Mrs. Hynek's new friend sure seemed keen on this ermine cape. It would make a lovely gift for my mom. I'm sure it's warm, but I've heard most all of the ermine fur it is imported from Russia. It's probably not such a good idea to support our enemies. I'm really questioning the relevancy of this clue, but I, this will probably it will become apparent. This is a hoppa game after all. Your husband's a lucky guy, Mimi. What's his line? Perhaps he'll need a raise to pay for all this. I can't wait for you to meet him, Susie. He teaches astrophysics. Uh, should I pretend to know what that is? Pretending has worked for me for the past ten years, but he works a lot. He just took on another job. Well, I'm not really supposed to talk about it, but he's doing consulting work for the Air Force. My husband's in the Army. I love men in uniform. Hold on, I think I lost something. Our roll of film. What is going on? Uh... Oh, I'm gonna lose. Well, now we know what happens when you do that. Oh, that's a clue. All right. French perfume bottle. 
This is the same brand of perfume that Susie Miller uses. Must be a coincidence. Make sure you watch this Susie Miller closely, Airman. All this perfume smell... Wait, what? All this perfume smells very sweet. Okay. But something about this Susie person just doesn't smell right to me. Oh, probably all these perfumes smell very sweet, but something about this Susie person doesn't smell right to me. I've been told to observe and report, but I'm going to keep an especially sharp eye on her. <laughs> okay. So investigate the department store some more. Almost got that achievement. Keeps popping up. There we have the clue. Roll off film. This common roll of film might not have been left here by accident. This roll of film could fit the camera we found at Hynek's house. This roll of film might match the camera I found at the Hynek's house. I wonder if this Susie is really on the up and up. She might just be a nosy neighbor who likes to take pictures, but who knows? I should have a look at this film. Better send it to the lab to get it developed. Sure. Next is Tom's Diner! Let's go! Waitress says the whole town's on edge. I told her it was a weather balloon. Case closed, right? I'm trying to find an explanation for what Le Lieutenant Fuller saw up there, but on paper it doesn't add up. Wait, did you just play this song? It's the same song Fuller says he heard when the light appeared. Song or no song, it was a weather balloon. And on paper, it's not the same as flying at 5,000 feet. Take me up. Prove me wrong. Until then, the math on this napkin says otherwise. Wait, it's gone! Yeah, Quinn seems like weirdly obsessed with just like, oh, we found a... A, an explanation. I don't care if it fits the facts or not. Let's just get rid of the case. Like, <clears throat> excuse me, you're not doing your job, though. I want popcorn. Actually, no, because it gets, like, stuck everywhere. Like, kernel pieces. Mm, the popcorn is nice, like, taste-wise, but it gets stuck everywhere. In my teeth. Mm, no. Nah. Seed bread. Oh. Oh. Text mode. All right. More of Tom's Diner. Local pilot sees flying saucer. Fargo Ledger headline. Looks like the local newspaper got wind of the sighting. This won't make our job any easier. You don't seem to be trying to make our job easier either, dude. You're just trying to like get rid of it. This article isn't very accurate. I guess it's easier to believe in little green men than to accept they don't exist. Local pilot sees flying saucer. Oh boy, the civilians are restless after this headline, to be sure. The quicker we get this clo case closed, the better. And all those airmen grounded until we clear this up? I hope the doc knows what he's doing. The flight maneuvers Fuller described. Best pilot on the planet couldn't do what he said he did. Say you're right. How do you explain the damage onto his plane? What type of UFO caused that? I'm sorry, a UFO... 
What? An identified flying object. This is a new science we're creating. It needs new terminology. Well, I believe I've identified it as a weather balloon, but I'll take you up for a game of chicken. Wurlitzer Jukebox. Th that is the same song on the jukebox that Lieutenant Fuller said he heard in his head. That is very strange. I can't forget that song that Lieutenant Fuller mentioned. It's such a catchy tune. That's a catchy tune. I love a good jukebox. I can see why Lieutenant Fuller got it stuck in his head. Maybe even heard it here in the local diner too. Side of mayo, spoon and banana. Symbol of spoon. Schlecht bread, postero. Oh, there. Heineck napkin. Where did my napkin go? I had all my calculations written on it. Ha. Huh. 99%. Oh, you found the napkin with my formulas. Make sure you record those so I don't lose them again. Oops, Dr. Heineck forgot his napkin. It's covered with chicken scratchings. I can't make heads nor tails of this, but I guess it might contain classified information, so I better take it with me. Who knows who might be interested in Dr. Heineck's findings about the sightings. Lab results. I was able to send these calculations over to the guys at Aberdeen Proving Grounds. They ran the numbers through their ENIAC computer device. Ooh, that is, that is an old Cool Beams. One of the first computers, I think, right? Something like that? I might be confusing it with something else. The calculations check out, but I have to wonder if they didn't just use Dr. Heineck's numbers to calibrate their machine. <laughs> Interesting question. Uh, we are going to the base infirmary. All right, let's go. Brace yourself, Doc. Who is that man? You, ignore my, you ignored my warning, Fuller's flight moves were impossible. We could have died in that crash. I told you to stop before we hit that weather balloon. Now, excuse me, I need to phone my wife. At ease, Captain, says Harding. I heard you crashed a plane. What the hell were you doing up there? Testing Dr. Hynek's alternate theory regarding what happened to Lieutenant Fuller during his flight, sir. I don't need his theories. I need you to close cases. And if you can't, I, I can find someone who will. Ah, so once again, you don't actually care about your job. You just want results. You don't give a shit about the actual, like, quality of your job. Got it. This doesn't seem s creepy at all.
Syringe box? Oh. I was about to give up. <gasps> New clue, General Harding. Are you watching General Harding again, Airman? Yeah, I don't like the dude. It's nice that General Harding is concerned for one of his pilots. I wonder if there's something more to it. Doesn't seem very concerned to me. I saw General Harding smoking near Fuller's room. I'm sure that if he overheard Hynek's interview with the lieutenant, he'd want to close the case quickly. He might try to hide any evidence left in this room. He's determined to keep the public from panicking. I wonder what the general really thinks about all this. We copied your flight plan and crashed. You're lucky to be alive if you really flew that same path. I never said I did. I said the plane flew that way. I wasn't in control. The light flew it for me. That's the song you said you heard when the saucer appeared, isn't it? What is it about that song? The song is how it spoke to me. It came from San Diego, my hometown. I know it sounds... Up the walls, whatever. It sounds unbelievable. He's suffering from post-traumatic stress. Search his room for evidence of how it's affecting him. Lamp, okay. Glyphs on the wall. These glyphs look familiar. Where have I seen them before? I'll have to look at our files. Lieutenant Fuller didn't mention he was interested in symbolic languages. Did he make those these up or did someone teach him these symbols? Strange. These markings are scratched into the paint. The symbols look familiar. Could it be a code? Nothing in Fuller's file says he dealt with cryptography or speaks any foreign languages. Now I remember. I saw something like this on a bulletin board back in the Project Blue book office. I don't know why that was hard. Hey, Airman Warfire, about that song. You know how I said they used it to speak to me? First time I heard it, Dad and I were home listening to the Jack Benny show. We were very close. We got in a car wreck. My dad was killed instantly, but I came away barely bruised, somehow. Thing is, when I came to, right after the crash, th the song was playing on the car radio. I think whoever took control of my plane was trying to protect me. I can't get it out of my head. Oh, okay. Human brain is also prone to make up patterns and reasons, even when none exist, to try to make some sort of sense of random phenomena. <laughs> Where did Lieutenant Fuller go? I have more questions for him. That's a meta clue. Lieutenant Fuller is missing. Where could he have gone? I can't locate Lieutenant Fuller, and the orderly says he was transferred. I hope he's alright. I wonder if this hypodermic needle and syringe were used with coop? Co-op? Just out of curiosity, I'm going to send this to the lab for testing to find out what might have been injected. Lab results. 
The syringe contained traces of a powerful barbiturate drug, most likely butobarbital, butobarbital, which has a sedative and hypnotic effect. Any subject injected with this drug would likely have lost consciousness. Mmm, that sounds great. Okay. Um... It's been like 20 minutes now, hasn't it? The bad lab. <laughs> oh no. Um, we can do the bad lab. So we can the communist threat is a global one. Yet successful advance in one second. Legit projector nine three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight. It's a math mathematical progression. I can't. If, if it's a mathematical progression, I can't follow it. The triangles remind me of the great pyramids. And the strange symbol. Never seen it before, have you? I'm relieved you followed me, Airman. I have no idea what this place is or what the film means. And the man in the hat has vanished. He was at the crash and led me here. So it's obvious he'd leave breadcrumbs. Let's find them. You have lost me, but I will go with it. The bad lab. That's a whole clue. This chair seems like it is meant to restrain someone. Whoever used this abandoned lab really wanted to make sure their subjects couldn't move. What an ominous looking chair. Restraint for the wrists, legs, and waist? The subject must have been forced to watch this film, but why? I've heard Nazi scientists were experimenting with mind control. Could this be part of some kind of mind control experiment? Fuller said he heard the song How High the Moon broadcast from his hometown in San Diego. I called the station and they checked. Turns out they were in fact playing the song at the time. Quinn said forget it, that's his job. But I'm not here to blindly follow his or his superior's orders. Or follow his or his superior's orders without questioning, rather. There's more going on. The man in the hat, the numbers, the symbol, they add up to something. I'm appealing to your cur cur bleh, curiosity, airman. Will you help me learn what it all means? Find the truth. This may be the most important quest in human history. We must investigate with open minds. <laughs> Sounds like TI. <laughs> uh, an MBTI comment. But yes, I agree. Let's go. No, not you. There. You clue the symbol. Another symbol. What could this mean?
These symbols must have meaning. I have to find a connection somewhere. The symbols in the film are strange, and seem to evolve in a progression I don't understand. But this one in particular captured Dr. Hynek's attention. What could it mean? And why force someone to watch this? I wonder who created this film and why. Investigate. The battle lab. Let me click. EKG machine. What sort of procedures were they doing here that would require monitoring a heartbeat? Medical equipment to monitor specific vital signs. What were they go doing to people in that lab? This medical equipment seems too eerie and out of place in an amusement park. I wonder what this one does. This printout seems to have recorded something in waves. Could it be the subject's heart rate or brain waves? Top secret 7B cold storage. I said we would complete the story, but now I'm like regretting my choice. Let's go. Mr. Unseen! <laughs> Sorry to alarm you, airman. I had to make sure Dr. Hynek was gone before I spoke with you. What am I to do with you? I'm not sure which side you're on. I'm not sure you know yourself. I don't even know what the sides are or what the argument is, so of course I can't pick a side. Let's play a new game. You've just uncovered some dangerous clues. We're going to hide them again. Because the world's not ready. Not yet. And don't mention our game. If you do, you'll regret it. Still don't know whose side I am on, dude, because I don't know what the sides are. Alright, Airman Wardfire, you're pretty keen at finding clues. Let's see how capable you are at destroying them. Here are the meta clues you found during this case. If you're good, you found all four of them. If not, you'll want to hunt down the others later. Here's a hint, if you missed a couple and you need to go back, the meta clues appear in the order in which they should be found. Start by tapping a meta clue you wish to destroy. It will jump to the target area. Try tapping the Raimi, Raimi photo meta clue now. Good, now that you've chosen a target to destroy, you'll find three objects and drop them in Todd slots. They'll act as tools of destruction. Okay. All right, you've got three tools of destruction slotted. Now see if these are the correct three required objects. If you have loaded a correct object, you'll see a green light above it. If you see a red light, remove the matches and try again. Here's a hint. The tools of destruction come from the scene where you uncovered them at a clue. Raimi photo destroyed. Why? Need to destroy all four meta clues to unlock the next case. Blah, blah. Clicking random stuff. Piece of wing destroyed. Oh, I had actually already clicked that. Whoopsie. High neck snapkin destroyed and this. No, stuff I haven't used yet. Oh, there we go. Nicely done, Airman Wardfire. I see you're starting to realize that while some clues may be ready to come to light, others remain too explosive for public consumption. 
Sounds like you are bullshitting, my friend. I look forward to shadowing you on further investigations. Oh, you really don't have to. I do not look forward to that at all. All right, we are now staff surgeon. Perhaps if I could continue. Oh, okay, so we get to, to a new case. We are not going to do that now. Okay, cool beans. So that's what we're going to do. start on next time. So that was the first case, I guess. Um, hated the ending, having to destroy evidence. Um, whoever Mr. Unseen is, um, not enjoying his presence at all so far. But anyways, um, thank you all very much for watching and I'll see ya.